So I know it's been a little bit since I posted my last video and I said that I was going to keep everybody up to date with what was going on with the search for my birth parents. Well, um, so I got my DNA results back uh, and I'm not going to discuss those yet, I'm not going to get into all that just yet because that's kind of not chronologically how this story goes. Um, what I am going to talk about is how I was able to get the funds in order to do this. Um, and I was actually, the way that I did it was I used GoFundMe. Um, because I work two jobs, I've been studying to get my insurance license, which has cost me a ton of money, and I just, I really didn't have the money to do it, but like, I'm 35 years old, like, I can't, I, I can't wait any longer, like, I needed to get this done now. So, I had the bright idea of setting up a GoFundMe page, which I did. And I just asked for $120 to cover like the cost of the test, which is like a hundred bucks plus like tax and fees or whatever. So 120 bucks I asked for. And I am, I'm kind of anti-Facebook, but um, I'm now seeing that it's kind of a necessary tool, especially for things like GoFundMe. I wasn't gonna post it on there, but it kind of made it so that I had to at the end. They're like, uh, if you want results for your GoFundMe, you should post this on Facebook. So. So I went ahead and did that, and uh, within an hour, this great guy I know that uh, I used to live with back in Enfield uh, donated the whole thing all by himself, and that was Craig Nickerson, and he did that at a time in my life where I wasn't really sure that I had a lot of friends or people that cared about me, and apparently I do have people that care about me. I at least got one awesome friend that cares enough about me. He donated the whole 120 bucks himself and said, go find your parents. So uh, this this is really about how I obtained the funds to to, to do this. And um, it's also, uh, I, I, I wanna make it public and let people know like how great of a guy Craig is. Uh, it means it's still, I know what he thinks the results of that DNA test are, but we're gonna get into all that later. The last time I saw you, I waited until I was with Craig to open the results. I, I actually let him do open them because um, I felt like it was the right thing to do since he paid for it, right? Um, we're going to talk more about that later, Big Craig. I got some exciting news for you. But, um, so yeah, that, that was, uh, th this is uh, chapter two. And then um, in the next video, uh, we'll be talking about the, uh, the actual test itself when it came. So. Um, and I'll explain to you guys how that works and everything, so in case you want to do that in the future, um, you'll know exactly what you what you got to do and how that how that goes. So um, again, thank you, Big Craig. You're you're a godson, bro, and and I'm really happy to have you as a friend. Thank you.